Okay, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you two things. I'm going both to show it to you how to update to the latest version of Whole Brain from R and I'm going to show to you how to use the stitch animal command. So if we open up R here uh, to the new R session and uh, let me just take this away. Okay, uh, uh, we first have to start by removing any whole, old whole brain package we have. So we write remove packages and in quota we write whole brain. This will remove uh, the package from your library. We can verify this by trying to load the whole brain package and we will see that uh, there is no package called whole brain. So we have successfully removed it. Importantly, now we have to close this R session before we continue and start up another R session. So we don't want to save. Okay, so we start up another R session and now we're going to install it again from the web. So, uh, to install it from GitHub, where we stored the latest Holbrain version, we need first to require the package DevTools. So here I'm writing that if we cannot require the package DevTool, then you don't have it installed, so then install that package for you. Uh, like that. Okay, so it loaded the required package DevTools. So now we call from DevTools, we call the command install GitHub, which automatically goes and fetches from tractators dash whole brain, where uh, we have the repository for the whole brain R package. Now, this is going to first download uh, zip tarball, which contains uh, the source code for the whole brain package. And then it will automatically go on to compile the code. And we will soon see here if it produces an error or not. Okay, there we saw the gray code here means that the compiling works and now it's preparing to install the package and make it ready for loading it and yes when we see this done whole brain testing if installed package can be loaded and done then it means the installation worked so uh, we can actually we don't have to restart R at this point we can actually uh, try to uh, uh, take our no new whole brain package for a ride so we load the package with library whole brain and now we see here that we have a version 0 0.03 that's the latest one uh, so that's how you know which version you have. Uh, okay, now we will go on to show how to use the stitch animal command. So we write stitch.animal and inside here we need uh, a folder, uh, the full path of a folder where you have multiple folders where your uh, tiles uh, of uh, the section brain are stored. So we're going to take up a folder here and here you see a simple folder structure here. We have an example animal, which is the subfolder, and then uh, inside this folder we have uh, a couple of section folders where we have image tiles acquired from the microscope. Uh, so I can simply just drag and drop the folder uh, inside uh, quotation marks, so it shines up as a string, like red text here. And uh, now I can simply run this command. Since it's doing multiple things, the stitching commands here, what it will do, it will go through all the folders, find all the TIFF images, and then find out how they are going to be tied together into the final uh, full section image. And once it has done that, it will also do some correction for uh, the flat field correction, which is simply like this optical artifact. If you've seen multiple tiles stitched together with an epifluorescent microscope, most time you also see that you have this vignetting effect where it shows up as small squares of shadows in your image. It will remove that effect with a flat field correction command and then it will stitch it together uh, seamlessly with the Laplacian blend algorithm and after that it will actually take the image, find uh, the best way to sort of display 
um, the intensity values uh, and render it as an 8-bit JPEG uh, image tile again. And the reason for this is uh, so we can look at the image in our browser by using the open brain map uh, browser framework to display the image, which is a very useful tool to make annotations and to look at your image as it's very, very fast. You can share it with anyone that has a uh, internet browser like uh, Safari, Chrome or Firefox. So we see here that it's now on uh, uh, section 001 underline 2 which is the second folder we had there and it's image 2 out of 3 we see here and it estimates that roughly we have like a minute or two minutes uh, left uh, ex exactly one minute 43 but it's sort of like can go up and down depending on your CPU user it is just a rough estimate but we're sort of 50% done we also see now for example that it generates the web output um, so now it's doing a flat field correction on the last image. It always starts with the flat field correction and then it does the stitching uh, uh, followed by generating the web output. So we see it goes to stitching now. And let's see. Yeah, and it went directly to the making the web output and it's finished now. So now when it's done, the processing of all these uh, tiles and stitching them, we can look at the output and see uh, if it looks correct or uh, if there's something we want to change the image. So in our folder now, where we used to have just three uh, folders with raw data, we have multiple folders now. Here is the raw data, the section folders, and then for each section folder we have flat field correction and then some output. And we have the stitched, the TIFF images, and also this web, which I'm going to show to you. So open the web, and if I open the HTML file, we'll see that we have the JPEG image tiles. But if I open the HTML file, and I will just drag it uh, wait there, uh, you see that it opens up in your default browser, which on, on my computer happens to be Firefox. Uh, so you can see that you can view your image uh, very responsive and it would also work if you uh, put it up on a f uh, FTP server or something like that. It will also work uh, on your cell phone or iPad or tablet. You can make annotations like measuring distances. Uh, you can uh, set up radiuses and uh, you can uh, uh, also make polygons like this to define like custom regions that you want to annotate or something like that. And there are several other features in here. Okay, uh, that's it for now.